Have you ever bought a new rifle and then bought ammunition, went out to the range and been really disappointed with the horrendous accuracy performance that it had? Well, this is the experience that created Desert Tech Munitions. You see, when we shipped the contract rifles to the Georgian military, this is the experience that they had. Now, before we shipped these rifles, we qualified them for accuracy and sent individual accuracy targets with each rifle, but we fired Lapua ammunition through these guns. Now, I was really surprised to hear back you know, 30 days after they received them that they were getting terrible accuracy with the rifles. And I was, I told them, I says, hey, look, you know, when we ship these guns, we qualified them, we sent targets. These accurate, these guns are accurate and they meet the accuracy spec. And then they sent pictures back with the accuracy where they were getting. And essentially us as the rifle company was telling them it's not the rifle. And Converse, the ammunition company was telling them that it wasn't the ammunition. And so we were in a big debacle here. So I ended up uh, flying over there to assess the situation. We got with the ammunition company and it was quite interesting um, because when the ammunition company sent us the same lot of ammo that the Georgians were using, we shot it and we were getting like three and a half inch groups or four inch groups at hundred yards. I mean, it was like shotgun powder. It wasn't like a little cluster with a flyer. There was not a single shot that was close to another shot. So I told them, I says, look guys, your ammo is bad. And they says, well, um, we have another ammo that we sell to the, the U.S. Marines, but you don't want that ammo. And I says, why not? Because it costs more money. I says, why don't you send me the other ammo that the U.S. Marines are using and let's test that. So they sent it over. We shot the ammo and it shot a, you know, half, half MOA. It shot great. So I, I contacted the ammo company and I says, look, you got to send them this better ammo because that shoots good. And so we, we called Georgia. We explained the situation. They upgraded to the, the U.S. Marine ammo and they, they got that ammunition uh, received and they shot it and they were happy. But we learned a really valuable lesson. And that lesson is, is uh, a customer's experience with our rifle is not guaranteed to be great if we don't control all of the components of accuracy uh, when we, we ship that rifle to them. And so we started Desert Tech Munitions so that we could guarantee that the ammunition was going to be flawlessly accurate and meet the standard that our rifles meet. We didn't want to take this risk again. So that's how Desert Munitions started. So as we started making this ammunition, the goals that we had is first, we wanted it to be accurate. And so we tailored the ammunition for the chamberings that we use in our rifles. And a lot of people think, well, does that make uh, so that that ammo isn't accurate in my Accuracy International or my Barrett or, or my Seiko. Uh, and I, the answer to that is no, it's accurate in all of those rifles. And the reason being is because most every premium rifle in this, this realm uses the same chamber reamer. And so by using the same chamber reamer, you got the same uh, dimensions across the board for the majority of all those rifles. So you're going to have phenomenal accuracy with the ammo in all of those, those different rifle options that you have. Second, we wanted it to be temperature stable. We didn't want to have ammunition that was 100 feet per second faster in the, in the summer than it was in the winter. And so we focused on the powders that would allow us to do that. Third, we wanted consistency. We didn't want one lot of ammunition to have significantly different velocity and performance than the next. So every lot of ammunition that we produce, we do the same qualification. We target the same velocity. We do the same accuracy validation of each lot so that when somebody buys uh, ammunition from Desert Tech, whether it was five years ago or today, that you have the same you know, velocity and accuracy performance that you did back in the day. The next thing we wanted was we wanted a velocity consistency, which required really great load, load equipment and powder uh, dispensing equipment. Uh, we uh, dispense our powder on all of our equipment to 0.1 grains and it helps us to maintain very good, very low extreme spreads and very low standard deviations in our ammunition. After we developed our ammunition line, then we had an experience with a third party silencer that really opened our eyes with the possibilities of what silencers can do to improve or reduce accuracy. If you want to hear that story, watch this next video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can hear more great stories about Desert Tech and the journey we've been through. Thanks for watching.